Hello and welcome back. Now, ooh, I'm just gonna have a little sit down. Um, what is on the agenda for today? Well, obviously I'm sat on the floor. I'm currently in our office, which if you watched our last vlog, the first vlog of 2019, which was titled, why we've been absent and a life update, because that's precisely what it was. It was just a little update of what's going on in life right now. Uh, exciting times. <laughs> the only update there is really is the fact that we've got work going on in the kitchen. Kitchen fitter is still here downstairs. Probably you're gonna hear a lot of noise going on, but I apologize. This is just how it is. This is how our life has been for the last two weeks. This is actually day two of the actual kitchen fit. So when the actual kitchen is being screwed in and fitted into that room. So it's all very exciting. Now there's another job which we also need to complete rather quickly because we're going away at the end of the month. And that is this room, which as I just mentioned, used to be our office. And over the last few months, as we've done a little bit more traveling, we've kind of come to realize that we do need a spare bedroom and we've only got two bedrooms in this house. So we figured we're gonna buy a bed, turn this back into a spare bedroom, still with a little area probably near to where you guys are currently propped up rather precariously on some boxes. And we'll still have a little desk over there. Um, but for the most part, it will be, you know, a nice environment for someone to come and stay. Guests of Hotel Emma and Simon. There we go. The banging has started. Um, I don't know if we'll fully get this finished today because there's probably lots of little finishing touches that I want to go out and buy. I still need to go and buy bedding. We've got like the duvet and nice new pillows, but I haven't actually bought any bedding. So all those little finishing touches might not get done today, but we can definitely do like the paint touch-ups. We can put the bed together. All the fun stuff. Right, so I'm thinking job number one really needs to be clearing this entire room of all of this stuff. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm literally not gonna do much with it. I'm just gonna move it into our bedroom so that we've got a clear space to work. Hello. Oh, I'm getting, <laughs> getting roped into work here. So I've, I've just managed to basically clear this room, oh, it's so echoey, isn't it? Very. You guys might hear echoing, then again, you might not, because he might have magically fixed it in post, but um, I've just moved one load of crap from one room to another. So our bedroom now looks like an absolute pit. Story of my life, is. Pipe down. Um, and I've just roped him into filling all these holes where our prints and things used to be. We're gonna to have to figure out somewhere for our play button to go. Yep. Right, so first job, fill the holes. How long does this stuff take to dry? Not very long. Okay, second job, paint. Then we can actually put together the new furniture. Or someone can put together the new furniture. I'm gonna go and have a biscuit. How long is this taking? Can't do it properly. Well, um... Ooh, give me another close-up. That's going to be a good shot. <laughs> it's going to win me video of the year, that is. Is it? Yeah. I'm just showing them what a not good job it looks like. Boris, what happened, darling? Are you scared of something? <coughs> is somebody at the door? What is it, eh? It's all right, relax. <coughs> right, Simon's finished this. But because we've got no kitchen stuff, we've got no way of making lunch. So I've sent him on his merry way to the co-op to get some sandwiches, crisps and drinks. So for now, I'm just going to have a little breather because I've already done quite a lot of work. Right, I've had a spot of lunch and now the painting must commence. Am I doing this or are you doing this? I thought you told me to do it. Yeah. Okay. I'll just sit and watch. Classic. As you can see from the wet patch, we're going for just a touch up. We're not repainting the entire wall because... Hopefully, if it blends in. Yeah, because we're just lazy, basically. But it's the same colour, it's Dulux Polished Pebble. You, a lot of you guys always ask me the question of what colours on the walls. 
polished pebble. Right, Simon has finished the painting, so this is all going to dry now. And I am going to move on to some flat packing, which is this desk. You better not be taking credit for what I've done. No, I'll take credit for the desk. Right, so I bought the desk and the bed both off eBay, new obviously, um, just because it was the easiest option and they were both really quite reasonably priced as well. I always tend to look on eBay and Amazon for like cheap furniture and stuff if we're just doing something like a quick fix. Um, to be honest, didn't really have the budget left from doing the kitchen to spend a lot of money on this room and also it's so small that there's not really a lot that you can do with it. It's just a case of having a nice bed, good mattress, somewhere nice and comfy to sleep. There's not a lot of room for much else in here. So that's why I just stuck to eBay. Wow. Oh, I hate polystyrene with a passion. Ah. But this is the desk. Now I've got to forage out the instructions. going to be but it will do the job. Little drawer. Jobs are good in. My only worry is, and I did measure this, that doesn't look like a very big space for the bed but I suppose we'll soon find out if that's going to fit. Made a bed, didn't we? What did you do? Huh? What bit did you do? Um, I, I, I told you when the headboard was level. I think we did a good job. Made, yeah. made it more difficult than it needed to be. No, it's comfy as well, isn't it? Very. It's very basic. Try, but... Tried and tested. Huh? Tried and tested. <laughs> no. <sighs> right. Now that the bed is made, it's my job to start making everything look a little bit prettier. So I'm going to get the duvet out and get all that out because that's all in a cupboard up there. This bed also has drawers because storage when you live in a small, smallish house is a massive necessity. And um, yes, we have had those lift up ottoman beds before and they are rubbish. We had two, both of them broke, naff. So we're not wasting any more money on those. We've got drawers in here, so if we need any extra bedding and stuff, it can go in there. And then all our camera equipment can go up there. As you might have seen that we put those in storage tubs. You might have seen that in the beginning of the video, but I'll run you through our camera equipment and all our tech another time, because that's going to be a hefty video. So now I'm going to start making everything look pretty. I think I've got a bedside table, just a narrow one to pop over there, bring up a lamp, you know, all the finishing touches. <laughs> 
we're already off to a bad start look at this this is the little like bedside table that I ordered and again off eBay it was like 20 quid and I've just got it out of the box and look it's all smashed completely obliterated all down here smashed cracked not ideal so I'm gonna have to send that back <sighs> right I appear to have given up uh, because I don't really have all the stuff that I need to make the room look pretty. I haven't got the bedding, um, we haven't got a chair, haven't now got the bedside table and I haven't decided what sort of things I'm going to put on the walls. Sorry I realised I was just <laughs> leaning you guys over there. This camera that I'm using is considerably heavier than um, my old vlogging camera. So I'm going to show you guys what I have actually accomplished which is not much. And I'm also gonna stay sat down in my seat. <laughs> so over there, we have the desk. Now, one issue that I have are the unsightly wires, so I'm gonna to have to buy some of those little sticky things that go on the back of the desk so that the wires will run down like so. But we have the Mac in and the little Google Home over there, or Google Speaker, whatever it's supposed to be called. All of the bedding is just flung on the bed so we've got feather pillows over there duvet and these are um anti-allergy pillows just in case we have anyone who is allergic to feather up here this is where i have excelled in my organization skills and yes apologies guys i still haven't painted the inside of these doors even though i've been saying that i was going to do that for the last two years um, but up here this is where all our camera equipment neatly organized in these airtight storage tubs is and that is just a thing of beauty a thing of beauty it really is um but for now i think i'm going to kind of call it a day on this situation until i've got the actual duvet cover and all that kind of stuff until i've got the new bedside table and until i've decided what i'm going to do with prints and or mirrors because I feel like I can't really leave it like that it looks very sparse and bare but otherwise a job well done and at least all these things that were flat packed are now out of the lounge right Simon and I are going out on a little date night tonight so I've just had myself a little mini shower I haven't washed my hair because I just can't be asked if I'm being honest with you and I kept my existing makeup on again can't be asked. Um, yes, this is the level of effort I put into a date night these days. Um, so basically Simon got given some tickets for some show that he'd asked for, or show, I say show, play, I don't know, whatever the terminology is. Um, I am not a fan of theatre, musicals, shows, ballet, all that kind of stuff very much not up my street but apparently this play is supposed to be really funny so I'm kind of thinking it might be something like that Book of Mormon one which is more like you know for normal people not middle class people um, so I'm hoping that I will enjoy it and not fall asleep um, so I think I've got about 45 minutes to get ready so I figured I would get ready with you guys and show you how I'm gonna pick an outfit now I did just ask Simon if there was a dress code and he joked with me for about 15 minutes saying it had to be evening, like evening wear, because he knows I hate evening wear. If it doesn't involve jeans, I'm not going, basically. So um, anyway, I realised it's not evening wear. You can just wear whatever the heck you like. So I'm now going to decide on which pair of jeans I'm going to don tonight and um, more likely which jumper um, now obviously i've told you guys that i'm not shopping this month and i've been really enjoying getting dressed and putting my outfits together so far in january just because i'm kind of rediscovering stuff that i've got in my wardrobe um, now for those of you that didn't watch my organization video it was like a wardrobe clear out reorganize that was back in vlogmas in december you'll probably be shocked to see that my knitwear is hung um, but yes, it is. So there you go. Feast your eyes. Get over the shock. It is hung. It's for space reasons that I can hang it and cannot fold it. Um, so yeah, it cannot be changed, I'm afraid. But for tonight's outfit, 
I feel like we're going to be eating so I want jeans that are elasticated. I also want jeans because it's the evening which are going to be long enough and cover my ankles. I don't want any ankles on show tonight even if I do have sheepskin insoles in my shoes. So I'm thinking, I know which pair of jeans I'm probably going to go for and that is a pair of Topshop jeans which are these ones here. They are kind of like washed black. No, nope, those are redones. I've picked the wrong ones. I won't be wearing these because I ate far too much over Christmas and I'm not even going to bother trying them on until I've done a bit more marathon training because I know I would have put on weight. Where are my jeans that I want to wear? Where are you, jeans? I've got way too many pairs of jeans. There they are found them okay so basically these are identical to the redone jeans they just have more give an elastic in them so i'm going to go for those i have these in a 34 length so they're nice and long but i can still pop a boot under there as well so that's them and then i'm thinking i'm going to need a layer underneath so i keep my t-shirts here so that i can layer them under a jumper but first of all I need to decide which jumper I'm going to wear. I'm feeling like it's date night. Should I be really black? Should I be like berry coloured? Decisions, decisions. <gasps> this is new. I can wear this. I got this back in December. Still got the tags on it from Cezanne. I like this. I might wear this. I'm just a bit pale and this is obviously quite deep. Oh, I could wear, oh, I know what I could wear. I could maybe wear my Anina Bing cami underneath. Right, let's put that on there a minute and find the cami, which is on here. Okay, let's see if this will work. I'm gonna put it on the hanger first just to see if I kind of like the vibe. And then I'll try it on as an outfit in a minute if I do like it. So I'm kind of thinking that the cami will poke out the top of the jumper, which it's not showing very well. It kind of is, show out the top of the jumper. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of bronzer, but I think I'm gonna try that on. So hang on, ta-da! So this is what I was thinking. The lace doesn't come up as high as I thought it would, or, or maybe the jumper's just not as low cut as I thought. But yeah, I think this works. I haven't worn this jumper yet. It's got quite a lot of mohair in it and it's actually not as itchy as I expected it to be, which is great news. So, a Nina Bing um, black silk cami on underneath. Jumper striped mohair from Cezanne, Topshop jeans and boots. I'm thinking these, which are J by Jasper Comran from Debenhams. They kind of got a manageable heel. Also, if it rains, they're patent, so they're practical. They're comfortable and they're kind of like a little bit date night because they're shiny and mock croc. So that's what I'm thinking. And then the decision for a bag, which I might take my little bag, which kind of matches these, which is a little mango one see if I can find that. It's in this side. This one. This is the one I was talking about. That can be my bag. I think that works. I just need to put a bit of bronzer here because I am Casper the not so friendly ghost <laughs> right now. I am pale AF. Right, all dressed, ready to go. I've just thrown on my big chunky black bimbo and lola coat. You're going to show everyone what you're wearing? Yeah. What are you? I don't know if that's focusing on you or not, but here we go. You've got a lot of neutrals going on. Why are you puffing your chest out like a pigeon? Date night, isn't it? Yeah. Another Christmas present for me? Right. We're not going to take you guys because we're going to a theatre and it's not like we can record and this camera is ginormous and does not look inconspicuous at all so they probably wouldn't even let us in. Uh, so we will pick you guys up probably tomorrow and we'll let you know how this play was. What's it even called? The play that went wrong. The play that went wrong. I don't know. Hello guys. Welcome back. Um, it is now Saturday. 
it's about maybe 2 p.m. I'd say. Um, so I haven't vlogged in a couple of days just because we've had so much going on in the house. Didn't manage to get the spare bedroom finished completely, but I'll show you guys kind of where I got to. Ta da! This is how far I managed to get. So obviously you guys saw me putting up the desk. I have ordered those little clippy things for the wires. So unfortunately they're still dangling down, but I've put the new lamp in here. I bought that from Wayfair. We've got one of them in our bedroom as well. Um, we've got some guest towels. Look at those, well posh. Um, I've got the bedding on now, although I do have big continental square pillows, the 65 by 65, but I haven't managed to find Egyptian cotton covers for those yet, so I haven't put them on. Um, this bedding is also from Dunnell Mill, like our bedding in our bedroom. Um, but I accidentally bought the striped pillowcases because I was not paying attention and the duvet excuse the lack of ironing is plain but I actually kind of like a little bit of stripe and plain it adds a little bit of something something um so it kind of looks a bit like a grey prison in here at the moment because I haven't actually put anything on the walls so that's also another job that needs to be undertaken but for another time for another time for now at least this is a habitable room and I'm relatively chuffed with it. Right, now we've checked that out, I'm gonna give you guys the sneakiest peek of the kitchen, just so you can see where we're at. Just a little sneak peek. Oh, and do you wanna tell people what you thought of that play? It's very good. The play that went wrong? Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? Definitely worthwhile, worth going to watch if you like slapstick. Yeah, it was very, what did I call it? Faulty Towers humour. It was good though, wasn't it? You enjoyed Hello. it? Hello, guys. Hi. Hello, yes, nice. Um, I'm gonna show everyone a sneak peek of the kitchen. Okay. A super sneak peek. Whoosh. It's a nice transition. All right, so this is where we're at. Look, you can see we've got new floor. Ooh. Ah, that's all you're seeing. <laughs> Just a little sneak preview. Now, I think that's gonna be it for this week. I promise we will bring you some, bring you? I promise we will bring you, I promise we will bring you some proper content soon. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video, whatever it may be. Bye.